everyone, this is Totally Random, back here with another video. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and join my channel and make sure you hit the bell for notifications. But anyway guys, finally, Nick Saban came out and said that Tua Tagovailoa is the starting quarterback and they will best try to utilize Jalen Hurts' skills. I don't know what they're going to do, probably for some running play, something, I don't know. Honestly, think Jalen Hurts, after he graduates in December, he's probably going to transfer somewhere, get eligibility somewhere else, but I don't know. It's been obvious, this whole thing, we knew this was coming, especially after watching Louisville, especially if you did not realize it after the Georgia game, which I still do not understand how people don't realize it, that Tua Tagovailoa was going to be the starter no matter what. Dude, this guy was a special quarterback. You can't... <laughs> the way he throws the ball, the way he anticipates, throws receivers open, the way his accuracy, his anticipation, everything is just off the charts. You heard Trent Dilfer say, like, he's never coached a guy like this before. He still hasn't, you know... He said he's got the arm talent, you know, of Aaron Rodgers. Obviously, the comparison to Russell Wilson, he's slightly bigger than Russell Wilson, 6'1", 6', uh, six foot, whatever. Um, my opinion, I think he's got a mix between Deshaun Watson, Cam Newton, Aaron Rodgers, and Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson mainly with the height, but um, everything else, you know, the mix of the other guys. You know, he's got the it factor the way Deshaun Watson and Cam Newton had it, you know. Uh, the first play against Louisville, or the first touchdown he threw against Louisville is very evident of that. I don't know if most quarterbacks... Uh, who's the top quarterback right now? Um, Will Grier. Do you think Will Grier, wait, scrambling, about to get sacked, do you think he would have thrown that at, the, at Jerry Judy thinking he was eating me? If I saw, I saw the play so many times, and I see the safety, whatever, covering him, I'm just like, I would have thrown it away. And I see the guy, how does he know that Jerry Judy's going to go there? This uh, safety's going to, like, sort of stumble the other way. I don't know. It's just it factor. That's what Tua has. He can just do stuff out of nowhere. If you saw the Vanderbilt play, uh, last season against Vanderbilt, he did the little, he spun around just for a fraction of a second. He saw it and just threw it. That's what he did against Louisville. He saw it for a fraction of a second and just threw it. Uh, he's just a special guy, and it's obvious that he's going to be the starter for the rest of the season, you know. And I saw an article on ESPN talking about how they they could potentially put up, like, just 50 points every game on anyone. I think that's very true, you know. This receiving core that Alabama has, it's crazy, you know. It's the most talented I've ever seen. Uh, I'm seeing Jalen Waddle, the emergence of him, true freshman, you know, he was amazing. Uh, he returning and, you know, him able to just blow past people, you know, when he was, uh, as a receiver, it's crazy. You know, all these guys, they're so talented. So that's what, with Tua as the quarterback, he can distribute the ball anywhere. I mean, he's, he's already going to be a first rounder Tua. We already know that. I mean, just, just be honest, like you guys trying to say, oh, this, you know, one game, you know, I saw someone say Dwayne Haskins is better. Uh, the only thing Dwayne Haskins has an advantage over is that he's taller. He's 6'3", and Jalen's 6'1", or Tua's 6'1". But J Tua has the clearly the better arm, everything. Like, Dwayne Haskins, he's throwing screen passes majority of the time. You know, I mean, obviously he did attack the field vertically a couple of times, but not as much as Tua did. Tua went everywhere. He can throw it everywhere, make any throw. And it's just scary. You just, you, if you heard, um... The commentator during the game versus Louisville at the beginning, when he said Tua came on the field, he's like, I fear, I feel bad for all any defense that has to face this guy because he's a special quarterback. He's going to rip you open no matter what. Uh, you saw against Georgia, it was a sample size second half. He just ripped it open. Uh, imagine what he's going to do against Clemson. I'm pretty sure Alabama and Clemson probably will meet. I just can't see Alabama now losing a game at all as long as he's the quarterback unless he gets injured or something happens on defense that just blows everyone away, you know, but I, other than that, I just can't see Alabama losing a game, like, they have this year, this season, I'm wanting to see a tough opponent that they can struggle against, possibly LSU, because it's at Death Valley, but other than that, I don't see them struggling against any of their opponents, because the tough ones, like Auburn's at home, uh, they're playing Mississippi State here at home, uh, Tennessee, you know, Tennessee's not there yet, they're still rebuilding under Jeremy Pruitt, uh, and, you know, obviously Louisville was supposed to be a tough game. But back when they scheduled it, they were, I think, uh, Teddy Bridgewater was the quarterback back then. So, I don't know. And peop it, it's just, I, I, uh, you might as well hand the national championship to Alabama. I know I'm being very, very, it's very vague and very just unrealistic at this point. But, you know, I'm just saying it. This guy, the sky's the limits. His potential is crazy. He can, th he, it's just scary to think about how good Alabama's going to be in the next season. It's awesome to think about it, you know, because I'm an Alabama fan, but thinking about it, it's just, it's scary for other teams. Um, I also think, though, Clemson can be somewhere around the line, you know, but I don't think Clemson's defense is as great. I know their front four is ferocious, but the secondary, I'm not very convinced about that. But Trevor Lawrence, you know, the quarterback, 
and him and Kelly Bryant. Kelly Bryant, I know Kelly Bryant's gonna make way. It's it's obvious. Trevor Lawrence is a special guy. He's getting praised too, not as much as Tua, but he's getting praised around. You know his uh, calmness, his ability, his arm talent. It's just there. He's gonna slowly take over. Uh, but with Tua, you know, Tua's a starter. Jalen, I don't know what Jalen's going to do, what his positioning, how he's going to help. He should be a running back, wide receiver, like the hybrid or something. You know, he can do that amazingly. But uh, anyway, guys, that's the video. Let me know your thoughts down below. I'm just so, I'm just waiting to see every game now with Tua. Because I'm afraid he's only going to play like a quarter and a half of the next couple of games because they're just going to blow him out. But we'll see. Let me know your thoughts down below. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Most importantly, hit that subscribe button and join my channel. Make sure you hit the bell for notifications. And until next time, guys, be amazing. Thank <laughs> you.